that's just nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been over two months since my last upload and I do apologize. And also I want to say welcome to the new subs. Thank you for subbing. Um, I promise I'll do better on uh, uploading, but life's been crazy busy. Got a new job, a bunch, bunch of stuff happened. And uh, I got some very, very exciting news and a lot, of, a lot more content coming. Um, Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, okay. Well, I brought the S14 home. Well, Derek did. And here she is. Uh, got a lot, a lot of work to do, but I'm very excited. So Derek's going to go ahead and finish up the KA at the shop. And I'm just going to go ahead and prepare the car in every other aspect, I guess, aesthetically. I did pick up a kooky front bumper, uh, extra set of kooky headlights, and some real kooky side skirts that are actually in really good condition and I got a pretty good deal on them. So, lots of big things coming. Uh, this car has a weird history, and I'm not exactly sure it used to have some sort of crazy suspension set up, obviously, because the strut tower's cut a little bit. Uh, I put some coilovers on it that I got from my boy Joel. Shout out to my man Joel. And as far as everything else, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty gutted. And um, this car must have some crazy history. I know for a fact that it did have an SR, super leaky one. Um, I do know that it used to have a bolt-in roll cage, as you can tell right there. Um, it was hit. So it was hit by a semi-truck tire, hence why that's there. But nothing a wide body can't fix. Um, I'm really interested in learning more about it. Um, I do know that it used to be green as you can see on the inside, and if you come out here and you get a, get a look at that terrible glue there. But yeah, as you can see right there, it used to be green. I thought I had a really rare, like actual OEM Mediterranean blue. It is Mediterranean blue, I know that. Um, but I guess it used to be green. Uh, it's a little, little strange, but yeah. Super excited, so I guess today is basically just getting all the crap out of it. I mean, it's been sitting for well over a year, so I got a lot of things I got to clean up, and basically that's just my goal for today. And then there's some broken clips on the headlights. It used to be a Zenki front end. Um, but I got a way better deal on the kooky stuff from my man's Joel. Also, shout out to Joel again. Um, got the, the small overs and then the kooky headlights for a screaming deal, as well as getting this car for a screaming deal, hence why I brought the project on myself. But yeah, I figured it was just time that I get back into it, quit making excuses, and get this car dialed. Also, shout out to my boy, Jake Joe. <clears throat> he watched my video where I was painting this turd and noticed that I had this crappy little tripod that uh, kept falling when I was filming. So he said, yo, come over and pick this up. He gave this to me for free. Mad shout out to my boy, Jake Joe. Hope you're watching this. Thank you so much.
and of course, because it's Washington, it's beginning to rain, so kind of taking shelter in my forerunner here. Got it all, all the junk taken out. This car actually came with a lot of cool goodies. Like the batteries are obviously already relocated to the rear. I mean, not that big of a deal, but it came with an old school Gretti turbo timer, uh, quick release wheel hub. It also came with a dirty old OMP seat, but I gave that away to my friend Andrew because he wanted to use it for his uh, drift simulator. And then it came with this gauge pod and all these gauges. Another one over here, which is nice. It's pretty cool. Oh, another big thing it comes with. Obviously, it's an SE model, so it's five lug. But it's got 300 Z brakes. And then I do have the matching 350 wheels for the front, but Derek's got them. So, yeah, here's all the junk. These are some S15 teen coilovers. Got them with the car. Uh, not gonna use them. So if somebody in the area wants those for free, let me know. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna have to throw them away or something. But yeah, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take this carpet out and do as much as I can with it. Uh, unfortunately these bolts for the cage are just thrown through the, the chassis and like all sideways and stuff so I might have to cut like a piece out just so I can get the carpet out but I mean whatever might have to happen might not I haven't tried yet luckily my big brother Austin let me have his old s13 driver's seat because I think maybe three years ago I upgraded his to an S14 seat which would be really cool to have right now but I can't do them like that so he's kind enough to give me uh, his old seat so it's gonna look goofy but it's something to sit on but uh, also he makes the beats for my channel so if you guys noticed kind of like the same ones in the past few videos that's actually produced and made by my brother so that I don't get copyrighted and whatnot. So I'll put his link in there. See, if you guys can check out his beats and if you're into that, and purchase them. But yeah, this is this is where we're at now. I believe I have some trespassers here. I'm trying to take the carpet out and I believe I found it. a little anthill or something. So yeah, we definitely have a trespasser issue. Look at all these ants. Ooh, gross. Can't hardly see them on camera, but there is a lot of them. 
That's just nasty. Ooh. I hate ants. I'm gonna attempt to uh, pull the carpet out without screaming too much. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. I gotta get this. Look at all these guys. Ugh, nasty. Here we go. This should do. This is like some sort of peppermint mix and apparently ants hate that. Yeah, you like that? I don't think they like it. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's trying to haul up some food right now. Unbelievable. Yo, we always got this little guy roaming around. He's always checking out the 240s. His name is B-Ray. He's my homie. But the ants and I, we are not homies. So I guess since I got the carpet out, I'll let some of this pest killer settle in. And then I'll just go ahead and start pressure washing. It's gonna be the most satisfying part. It's been killing me to do it for like over a year. All this gunk. Ooh, that's nasty. Hot damn. What do you think? <laughs> it's not bad. Honestly. That's gnarly. Yeah, I would drift the shit out of this. <laughs> Dude, I had a I have a bad ant problem. I just sprayed a bunch of shit in here. That's fucked. But I got the carpet out. Someone had some sort of bolt-in cage, so I got nice little holes in my floor. Does it have the same coilovers as me, I wonder? 
Uh, I don't know. These are God speeds. Uh, I got those from Joel for like 100 bucks and a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah.